I'm so honored to be here. I, I feel like you guys are so far away, but um, <clears throat> it's a pleasure to be in the company of Julie as well. I know she's an incredible artist and her work is just beautiful. Uh, and I think it's a wonderful pairing, like Tally says, of, of these ideas of landscape. Um, but so my name is Margarita Cabrera, and I live in El Paso, which is the border city to Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua. And I do work that addresses issues um, that relate to immigration. I do work with very timely issues that um, that address the experience of an immigrant. Um, for instance, I make work that deals with labor practices. I make work that deals with community, issues of craft, um, with um, cultural identity. I address issues of inclusivity, empowerment, and I also make work that speaks of the theme of violence. And these are pretty charged themes for me as an artist that I have to continuously question the way I make my work and, and why I make it. And um, so I, I, I question where it's made, who I make it with, um, where it's going to end up. And as I question myself, I ha I, it helps me, I guess, to kind of redefine what my approach is and, uh, and what I'm trying to do. Um, and it's through this process of kind of re-questioning and, and redefining that I tend to find new ways of making art. And um, so one of my most inspirational quotes that I, I really work by is Bertolt Brecht, who's a pioneer of theater, uh, who's passed, but he, he's, his idea of art is that it, it is a mirror that is held up to our society, right? It, it functions as a mirror, but it's also a hammer with which to shape it. And that to me is a quote that I still have to understand and I still have to figure out what it means more and more as, as I do my work. Um, and so one of the things I have certainly figured out is that art is certainly a tool. It can be a tool to create different things. It can be a tool to create value. Uh, to create new audiences, therefore new communities. It's a tool that can create, you know, respect for everybody that comes in contact with the making process. So um, I'm very excited and um, I've learned to work from solo production in my studio and making works in my studio by myself to then working more with community and with others. So my work kind of fluctuates between solo and community production. And what you see here in the gallery is uh, a body of work that I did in community with a group of um, immigrants from Houston. I lived in Houston and it was in 2010 uh, that I was invited by Box 13 Gallery, um, which is located on the east end of town where most of the Hispanic Latino immigrants live, Central American Mexican immigrants. And, and it's in this neighborhood where this amazing building is, is situated. And it's a wonderful gallery space and it has beautiful studios where people are working. And you know they invited me to do a show in their gallery and I said, of course. And once I, I found the history of the building, to be so interesting, I made the work, you know, really about that history. So the work, um, the building is, used to be a sewing singer school and a showroom and a workplace. And all of the community that lived in that area back in the day was really the active uh, membership, you know, the active group of people that made that place function and effective. And over the years, you know, the, the shop closed and that building had different functions and it became many different things. So there was a separation, right, between this community and what was going on in the building. So this, this kind of separation is a space that is important. Um, this whole show that you see here is, is inspired by a very specific term called Nepantla. And Nepantla is, is an Aztec uh, term, it's in the Aztec language, and it, it, it refers to that space in the middle, that space in between. So it's this space in between where these people find themselves, you know, out of a job 
or in between countries or in between relationships or in between uh, geographical spaces. Nepantla is a space that we all, I think, can relate to. And, um, and it's what inspires this show. We all have a connection to Nepantla. Um, so this show, you know, is kind of created within this space. And what we did was we invited the community outside of the Box 13 area and some new arrivals from different countries from Houston to participate in the collaboration in the making of these pieces that you see here. Um, we work with the Interfaith Justice Worker Center in Houston and we had probably about 16 participants from different Central American countries and from Mexico as well. And what we decided to do was to create um, replicas of cacti that you find in the desert trails as um, people cross from Mexico to the United States. And these are plants that are specifically chosen because people had very personal experiences with, with them. Um, the material that you see is recycled Border Patrol uniforms, and um, these were recycled and cut and reshaped to create these replicas. Um, and there's also an embroidery component that you see on the surface of these, these plants, which uh, intentionally is used to try to, in a way, preserve these cultural traditions to maintain them or to reclaim them because a lot of our immigrant communities when they come to the United States um, you know have this distant and this disconnect with their cultural traditions and we know that um, the heart of a community is its cultural production and when they are not connected to it they have a dislocated situation so um, so this is why you see some of the embroidery here, and we were inspired by the work of um, in Hidalgo, the work that is done in Hidalgo, which they are master artesanos in Hidalgo, they are brilliant embroidery um, craft makers. So th their work informs, inspires this embroidery that you see throughout all of these pieces. And so spacing between the work inspired by Nepantla what you see here is an ongoing project. It's alive, it's organic, it continues to grow, and it is hopefully going to go from one city to another and to another to create a cultural documentation of these experiences. And these are uh, situations that are happening in these spaces in between, in these landscapes that are part of the American landscape, part of our history, part of all of our history here. So I see these are as, as very wonderful, interesting works of art, contemporary art, but also as cultural and historical documents um, that really are, you know, have a very special function. Um, so what, what we have essentially is a platform, right, where stories are being told. And there are two very particular roles that are within these stories, is the role of the Border Patrol officer, and it's the role of our immigrants, right? And their relationship that um, becomes of their encounter within these in-between spaces. And this one in particular is, is taking place, of course, in the desert trails. So who is the antagonist? Who is the protagonist? Those are really questions to be defined by all of us here. Um, but, you know, the, the exciting part as an artist is that um, I get to celebrate, you know, this history that we, that we share. Every one of us here knows Nepantla. Every one of us here has been connected to that space, whether it's us, whether it's our grandparents or our great-grandparents. Somebody 50 years ago, 100 years ago in our family has gone through the space in between. You know, we have a lot of people here that their roots and their heritage comes from England, from Spain, from Scotland, Russia, Africa, you know, from some part in Asia, uh, Mexico, Central America, and we're all here to celebrate, you know, the history and the documentation of these moments that make up our history. Um, so I'm, I'm very, very honored. I'm very happy to be here. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions 
that you may have about the specific pieces. But again, there's stories for you to kind of walk through and unfold and connect with and, and understand your connectedness with each and every one of them. Um, but they are throughout this space, and, and again, this, this work was uh, produced in Houston, and it was also then later produced in Charlotte, North Carolina, and eventually it will be produced in a space in Arizona. And so one day you hopefully will walk through a space and see maybe a thousand of these plants, you know, in one space. It's like the creation of a new landscape or, you know, the new space where we can all be, be you know, functioning together as a community. So this is what this work is about. Um, I hope that you, you know, take the time to walk through. I'm happy to talk to you about the specific ones, answer any questions or, you know, receive any comments from you if there are any right now. But thank you for coming and thank you for your time, for your visit. Thank you. Thank you.